Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. We're going to keep going on account schedules. Um, and uh, today I want to talk about how we can interact with Excel. Uh, and uh, this being a Microsoft product, we can interact with Excel in so many different ways. Uh, but this one is kind of neat. Uh, let's say, for example, we need to uh, share an account schedule that we created with uh, somebody uh, in our organization that does not have access to NAV but they have access to Excel, of course. And so we're gonna send them or, or expose an Excel sheet uh, for them to take a look at. So I'm gonna go here into account schedule. So I'm logged in as the account manager in the analysis ribbon uh, tab. I can get into account schedules. I'm gonna pick the account schedule I just created um, and hit overview. And then I get straight into um, the numbers. So I'm looking at the last quarter of, uh, first quarter of 2018. I'm actually going to go into uh, the last, the second or the third quarter of 2017. And I'm going to change my column layout to be the one I actually created uh, in a previous video, which is called four quarters right here. And this is looking at um, the current quarter that, I, that I'm in here, which is uh, I'm pretending to be in the third quarter of 2017. Actually, it is third quarter of 2017. <laughs> and, uh, and then I'm seeing the previous quarter and the quarter before that. And since we only have three quarters of the year in, obviously I can't see uh, the fourth number here. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit Actions, Export to Excel, Create New Document. So what that does, it takes whatever I had created here and creates an Excel sheet out of that. And it comes in like this. So it tells me uh, we're looking at uh, this particular period um, and it, everything is in US dollars and, and here are the numbers. Now, the formatting here is of course not exactly like we wanted it to be. I mean, it, it looks okay, but usually when you have things coming into Excel, you wanna do something more with it. I'm actually going to just create a, um, a, a graph. So I'm gonna select, um, let me see, just do it like this. Oh, I think I need to take it like that, here we go select um, the the header the sales and the gross profit now i have to include of course the third quarter here even though nothing is in here i'm intentionally including that so i go ahead and hit insert um, i go into a chart um, and i think this is it yep so i'll use the clustered column oops I actually want to change this. Uh, let's put this back here. Uh, but I'm going to change the title and call it revenue slash gross profit per quarter. Okay. Um, uh, it's okay. We'll leave it over there. Okay. So now, I don't want to do this every single time, right? Create this chart. Let's say I created lots of charts and lots of things, uh, all kinds of analysis in Excel. And it's based on this account schedule that I'm dropping in here. And I would not want to um, constantly be uh, redoing all of that work. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, and I'll save it onto my OneDrive. Now, the reason why I'm saving it on OneDrive is because I can share my OneDrive uh, Excel with anybody. That's This is in the cloud and really a topic for another video. But OneDrive is really good because uh, I can just give a link to someone to this Excel book and they can take a look at it. All right. 
again we're saving paper so this is going to be uh, uh, profit or gross profit um, by a quarter okay and I'll just save that okay so now it's saved I'll close it out and uh, let's say pretend that next quarter passes and now we're in the final quarter of 2017 so I'll just go into the next period right here and I have the numbers for all four quarters and now I need to update my Excel sheet and of course I don't want to recreate everything or even be copy pasting into some kind of template it would be just nice to update and we can do that I can go in here and say update existing document just click on that and I go into my OneDrive and I hit the GP by quarter and it goes in and updates the document so if I go in here uh, and it starts blinking and click on it now you can see that it updated the existing document and now I have the current quarter uh, quarter before that and all the way four quarters all all updated in the chart again even we just did a little chart here and to show that it actually updates and doesn't change the information in there you can do much much more so I hope that highlighted that point and you learned something from this until next time thank you very much Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.